The cold boot. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, <coughs> that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Yes, I remember this test. This is a... This is a good... a good test. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Maybe if I just sit in the room and meditate. Can I do that? Can I just... Can I just boycott this? Next this next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your... Well, episode. Episode! So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. I mean, what? Hey, buddy. Oh, Wheatley! Hi, man! Hi, man! Hi! Man! Well done. That. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. <gasps> That's what it says. That's not what a it says. Horrible person. That's not, I didn't say we that. We weren't even testing for that. <laughs> There's a test for that? Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. Okay. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. I wasn't adopted. You're adopted. You're a robot. Robots don't have parents. Robots aren't loved. That was intense. Um. I need a thing. What's down here? Graffiti! <gasps> Musica. Beans. Wow, this is poetic. Up there. <laughs> do do do. Okay, I need a. I need a. I need that. Ah, uh, can I jump to there? <laughs> no. Oh, but I can do that. Why are you acting so funny? Where's that... other... one? You. And you're supposed to go... to... that other... one... what is... somewhere... Else, where's the other power up? Shouldn't have jumped down here, I don't think. Ah, ah, ah. 
Fine. That didn't work at all. Alright. Alright. Oh, right there. I see. Congratulations. Got it. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. Aww. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Hey, whoa. 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 Doesn't call for. Okay. You're fat. Friggin' I don't know how they built a fat robot, but it's you. Fat bot. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. Good. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Oh! Well, I was close on Yeah, that is my hobby, so I got nothing else to do, really. So if you could pick it up, that would be nice. That would be grand. Companion cube on my head. Regular cube, not companion. Just a cube. Exile! It's a break! Oops. Great, now I gotta go back over there. I gotta fix it. Okay. Orange! Right there. Great. Now, blue! Right there. Great. Bad decision, bad decision, bad decision, bad decision, bad decision, bad decision. Good decision. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Hey, whoa. Whoa! That was speedy quick like a bunny. Shut up. You just you just mean for the sake of being mean. Uh, can I have one of these? Okay, fine. Fine. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results Wee. were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I don't doubt that even a little bit. Yoink! That's mine now. Alright. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. That's awful. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. <gasps> <sighs> That's actually very useful. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial face plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I will. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Good. You deserve that. It's like a punishment, you deserve it. I hope you get cut on your robot finger. Robot finger cuts. That's great. That's great. Alright, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Yeep! 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 Yep. No, oh, 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 whoa. That is not supposed to happen at all. So I guess it's right there. But maybe I can- yeah, I can. What up, secret area? He's just such an artist with the waxing and the waning of the moon and then smooth jazz fails. I agree. There's a fail. 
I love it. And like these water jugs. I can just think of that water jug. Cool. Sweet. That's all. That's all. That's that's all. Okay. Got it. Alright, let's do it again. This time we'll actually do it. You know? You know? This is actually super fun. You know? Okay, that was dangerous. And you? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try hey, whoa. to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You are the garbage hurtling towards me. You know that? You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. No, I want this ball. This is my ball. And I love it. It's my ball. Stay. Stay. Good ball. You're so good. I'm so proud of you. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what? You right here. It's like ping pong. Further over. Ball, are you there? Okay. What? I've been gypped. Friggin'. Yeah. All right, ball. Let's go. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. But I'm not smelly. I'm worthwhile. I'm not trash. You're trash. I hate you. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Not scared. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Not afraid. Oh, <gasps> did I accidentally <gasps> Google that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. No. I love you. Don't ever oh, leave me. No. no. I fizzled that one too. I hate you. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely no. worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Companion QB. Come here, baby. Come here. Good girl. Boy. Ambiguously gendered cube. Do you play music too? You're so great. In every way. Yeah. 
Me too. I'm great in every way too. Yeah! Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll see you again. We'll go out next weekend. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. Yeah, screw this. this. I'm finding a way. Don't take anything with I'm you. I'm finding a way. I'm taking it with me. I'm taking it with me. See you. I'll see you when I want to see you, girlfriend, because I love your face. Yeah! That's love. This love. Hey! I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. You fizzle them. I can hear their screams in my dreams. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. <sighs> oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. I'm gonna travel back and forth for a second and get this. Yeep. Yeep. My recognizance is unmatched. Recognizance. You don't even know what that means, do you, Gladys? <laughs>